La experiencia comenzó este curso en enero y ha sido una gran experiencia en todos los sentidos. Desde el primer día de clase los alumnos estaban con los brazos abiertos esperándola, sabían que venía una eh, voluntaria nativa de, de los Estados Unidos y les ha ayudado a mejorar su competencia comunicativa en lengua extranjera, ha hecho muchas actividades con ellos, como contarles un cuento de, de, de cuando era ya pequeña, ha traído el cuento y, y ha hecho grandes actividades con ellos. The most unique thing I think I've ever done and probably the best way to understand the culture, practice language and really just be able to share back and forth with English and Spanish and uh, make, make really uh, meaningful connections with people in Spain. It's hard to say, I mean, I, I'm not a teacher by trade, so getting used to being in the classroom with students was a new thing for me, having the patience and also working across language barriers. Um, so that, for in, in terms of the classroom experience, just getting used to that and trying to learn to teach and um, do it in another language that the students aren't used to was difficult. Um, then, obviously, living in a country that it's not your first language is always going to present challenges. Um, trying to understand people and then with masks on you can't even see their mouth moving it just adds another layer of complexity to trying to understand and get to know people in a language that's not your mother tongue. Yeah I think anyone who wants to have a deep cultural immersion um, and maybe is looking to practice their teaching skills or get better at Spanish it's a perfect opportunity for you to be able to do all of those things um, in one, one three month time frame um, to have that kind of experience and maybe figure out if it's something you want to do longer term or stay longer in Spain, um, it's great. I don't think it's necessary because really if you think about um, a, the day-to-day -day experience of someone working, probably a lot of what you do is teaching other people things. Um, I came from working in uh, technology and even though I wasn't in a student a uh, teacher environment, most of my job was teaching people how to do things and so you just have to have an open mind about what your teaching learning experiences have been and apply those types of experiences to a different setting. So even if you're not a teacher, maybe maybe you need to have curiosity or being, be willing to um, put in some extra work to overcome challenges, but I don't think you need to be a teacher or be training to be a teacher um, to to leverage experiences in your life where you've been teaching people and apply that to a classroom with children or, or um, students in our high school. It's an adventure. Um, so I've gotten to meet a lot of the teachers in the school and I've had the most contact with Elena as the administrator and um, she's made the transition here amazing, taking um, you know, for, for walks and hikes and things like that and just really um, going out of her way to make this feel like a home environment and not just that I'm here in the classroom volunteering for a, a short period of time. Yeah, I can say that we met in January and since the first moment we met we've been, we became friends. So it's a great relationship and I am so thankful for her cooperation in the school. She's always willing to do things, she's so open-minded, she's done so much work in the school. So thank you, Krista. It's been wonderful and we've been friends for, for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Yeah.